Hello, my writerly friends. Today we're going to discuss singular they, what it is, when the Chicago Manual of Style suggests using it, and why I think it is so awesome. Singular they has been used conversationally for a really long time. So basically when you're referring to an individual but you do not know their gender, you can use they, and people will understand exactly what you're saying every time. So you might say, I don't know which student vandalized the library, but they are going to be in big trouble. In that case, because I said which student, you understand that I am referring to an individual. The other more recent usage of singular they is to refer to an individual who does not identify as male or female. In either case, even though they is singular and is referring to one person, you still use it as a plural pronoun. So you would never say they is, you would say they are. Even though this is widely accepted in conversational, informal speech, it's really had a hard time breaking into formal writing and style guides. The traditional way of dealing with uh, the situation when you're writing about an individual and you don't know their gender is to default to he. Now, thankfully, humans realize that that is a major example of sexism in language, so they start coming up with other solutions, one of the most prominent being he slash she. The biggest issue with he slash she is that it is clunky. It's difficult to even say. Same thing with he or she, it's just, it doesn't flow well in prose. People have tried to come up with other solutions like S slash H E and parenthesis W O parenthesis M A N. And really these are just awkward. They look strange, they read strange, they really just don't work. Now the Chicago Manual of Style has a section on gender neutrality in which it addresses most of these methods for um, gender neutral language. But the 17th edition of the Chicago Manual is the first one that really advises the use of singular they. I will let you know in the description the exact CMOS sections I'm pulling from here, but I'm just gonna lay it out simply. Basically, the Chicago Manual of Style admits that all of these solutions have issues, even singular they. No matter what you do, you run the risk of losing credibility with some readers. This is more of an issue in um, scholarly writing than it is in fiction. Um, so the more formal the writing, the more you really need to consider this. For fiction, I have and will continue to go with singular they when these issues arise and you cannot reword. The CMOS offers several methods for achieving gender neutrality. The first line of defense is always to try to reword the sentence. If you can reword it and get around the issue entirely, then that's awesome. Sometimes uh, you can avoid the issue by switching to active voice, but if you cannot reword the sentence and get around the ambiguity, then singular they is your next best option. CMOS pretty heavily advises against using he slash she or he or she just because they are so clunky. Um, it also really advises against defaulting to he because that is inherently sexist and it's pretty well known and understood at this point that that is not good practice. The Chicago Manual does give the caveat that some readers may question your credibility if you're using singular they, but it's still the best option in a lot of cases. And again, if you're writing fiction, readers are probably going to be a lot more understanding of that sort of thing. Um, honestly, they probably won't even notice because it is so accepted and used in daily vernacular. Now, in the other usage of the singular they, there is no question at all what you're supposed to do. If someone does not identify as male or female and prefers the pronoun they, then use it. CMOS says to always go with the pronoun that the individual prefers. Recently, singular they was also admitted into Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary, so it is super official. Singular they is a thing, y'all. 
It is here to stay and I'm really excited. I've said for years that Singular They is the simplest solution. It's the one that makes the most sense. And language has a way of evolving naturally. Compounds become closed, abbreviations become the real word. All these changes happen organically as we're speaking. And as people have been speaking and having conversations, they have taken on the singular they as part of their daily language. And I think it would be absolutely silly for style guides and dictionaries to not follow along with that natural progression of the language. Okay, that is the basics about singular they. Again, you can check the description box for references to the CMOS sections that I'm talking about here. And let me know how you feel about this new addition to CMOS and Merriam-Webster's. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe if you wanna see more, and I'll see y'all next time.